Assalamu alaikum. Tsinga ye, Jordias, Pacherias, Sharaglas. Hi, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm Miriam, and this is Afghan Cooks. Because I'm an Afghan who cooks. We call this dish chikni. I think that a lot of people call it chutney, but to me, a chutney is um, denser, thicker. This is more like a sauce that you pour over everything. We eat this a lot with the yogurt sauce and that recipe is over there. It's really quick, it's really tasty, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So we have cilantro, two cups of vinegar. I have four bunches of cilantro here so that I can fit it into this giant container. Feel free to half this, quarter this, whatever you need to do. Try it a small batch first, see if you like it, and if you do, you can make more. So this is two cups of vinegar, it's one cup of apple cider vinegar, and one cup of white vinegar. And all the ingredients are gonna be in the recipe, which is on the blog, which is linked down below. If you couldn't tell, it's down there. I have a jalapeno. Again, this is optional. Afghan food is never really spicy, but you know, we go with the times. And then I have five cloves of garlic. I think I need more because I have so much cilantro, so I think I'm gonna go with eight. That way, you guys can just divide by four or by two, depending on how much cilantro you use. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's go. Let's go. The other thing you're gonna need is either a blender or a food processor, okay? Because this all gets zzzzed around. Now, when we eat, and by we, I mean Afghans, but also um, most people from that part of the world, I'm not gonna say the Middle East, but the Middle East, North Africa, uh, we like our sour. So if we have a meal that is rich, we have either pickles and or this along with it. We will almost never eat a dish, any sort of food, without some sort of pickle or raw onions. And I know that um, Americans are not really into eating raw onions, but you know what you can do to make a raw onion much more palatable, I'm gonna teach you. You take the onion, you slice it up, you put it in some water with salt and let it sit for a few minutes and then you rinse it all out and rinse off the salt and then you dry them up and it takes away that, um, the, the bitterness because it pulls out the water and then you wash it out. Give that a try. So I have a big bowl if you're not making this much, you can probably just stick it all right in your food processor as you go, but <laughs> this is a little bit preposterous. Okay. You want to use the leaves and the stems because all of it has good flavor, okay? Don't be scared of the stems. They're very delicious. I did actually cut off the very, um, the very ends because they're a little bit tough and it's hard to zhuzh them. Smells of my mom's cooking and my grandma's cooking. It's good memories. You know, um, I didn't know what cilantro was called in English for the longest time because we call it gushniz. So I would go to the store and I would just have to smell because I didn't know that there was like a cilantro and a parsley and that they were different. I put all of the cilantro in this big bowl and I was telling my producer that I needed another bowl because I didn't think that I'd be able to do it all in one go here. But he says that this zhuzhur is so powerful that he believes it can happen. We're gonna see who's right and whether he's just doing that, you know, producer thing. I'm gonna add the garlic. See, the thing is, in our culture, nobody ever kisses anyone in public. 
So you always have time to go and like gargle mouthwash or brush your teeth. So we use a lot of garlic and onion. Cause ain't nobody coming that close to you. I, mean, I don't know if we actually care about personal space or we just really care about having, having onions and garlic in our food. Here we go. It's such a beautiful green color, right? It's the color of spring, which is right around the corner. We Afghans, uh, along with the Iranians and the Persians, celebrate a holiday called Nowruz, which is New Year. And it's actually celebrated in the spring, March 21st. It's not a religious holiday. It's just a holiday that we celebrate probably because Afghanistan is the birthplace of Zoroastrianism. I'm gonna show you the texture, okay? And the consistency of it. You can see fairly thick, but still a little bit runny. Now, just like the yogurt sauce, this is actually gonna taste better the next day, okay? So let it sit for a little while, but it's good. It's still a little too chunky for my taste, so I'm gonna zhuzh it a little bit more. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can. So as it sits, the cilantro, hold on a second will get softer because it's still very fresh tasting, um, which is also really nice. You can add more vinegar if you want. A lot of times it is a little bit runnier than this. This is how I like it. You wanna put this in a jar of some sort. Isn't that pretty? so green and vibrant. We're gonna eat this, use this for the Bologna recipe that's right there along with the yogurt sauce. You see how we eat it? You can have this, like I said before, with rice. I like it just with bread. Um, I will eat this with everything. So this will be gone soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We'd really like it if you would subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. Leave a comment down below. Um, and if you make any of these recipes, please post a picture and tag me. My Instagram and my Twitter are Miriam71. It's linked in the description down below. Tashakur, thank you. Till next time, bye.